to our aquaponics system here at Principia College. My name is Conrad and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our plant produce and fish. Aquaponics is used to grow many different plant species. Most common is lettuce, but spinach, kale, tomatoes, cucumbers, melons, and really a whole variety of plants can be grown in aquaponics. Some people grow more exotic foreign species of plants, which can be sold at a little higher margin. In our system, we grow primarily lettuce, romaine lettuce, and butterhead lettuce. The growth rates for these lettuce plants range from three to six weeks. Here in the wintertime, they get substantially less life than they do in the fall or the spring, which drastically affects their growing periods. Our plants are the most profitable source of produce from our aquaponic system. We sell each lettuce head to dining services for a little over $2, and you can buy a pack of a couple hundred seeds for $2 to $4. So a seed that costs you a cent or two, you can then sell for $2 after the five week growing period, which is a pretty significant margin. We have incorporated two types of growing beds into our aquaponic system, a raft bed and a medium bed. Our raft bed here is no more than a piece of styrofoam we bought at the hardware store we cut out to fit in the top of this IBC tote. We cut individual holes in the IBC tote where each plant will sit in the water. Each seed is planted in a piece of rock wool that we simply bought on Amazon. This allows the water to reach the seed without entirely drowning. In our raft bed, we've had an extremely high germination rate. We are able to plant 25 plants in this raft bed, and typically all 25 will germinate the sprout within the next couple days. Our raft bed is much more effective than our media bed in this sense. The other growing bed in our system is this media bed here. The media bed is simply the top section of an IBC toe that we filled with this Merrimack pea gravel. The plants would grow in this gravel as they would in the typical ground outside. We've struggled significantly with the germination rate in this media bed. As you can see, only about three plants have sprouted of the 20 that we've planted at the beginning of this growing period. We believe this is because of our bell siphon, which is what monitors the flow of water in this media bed in order to stress the plants to optimize their growth rate. Because of this inconsistency of our germination rate, we'll likely convert this growing bed into a raft bed in the future. So that's pretty much everything we have on our plants. Aquaponics is a really great, cost-effective method that any individual can use to grow local and sustainable food. As far as our fish production in aquaponics, we grow tilapia. You can grow pretty much any freshwater fish, but tilapia are great because they're hardy and they taste pretty good. We do conduct daily chemical tests of the water quality, but tilapia are able to live in less than perfect conditions. Tilapia also work well because they have a high stocking density. Currently in our system, we only have 30 tilapia in each tank, which is severely understocked. But a ratio you can use to maximize the amount of tilapia in the system is one tilapia for every two gallons of water. The IBC toast we use hold approximately 275 gallons. However, since we cut off the tops to use the growing beds, they really only hold about 250. Of that 250, we probably use about 220. Therefore, we can grow approximately 110 tilapia in each tank at one given time, which is a fair amount if you're trying to sell them commercially. Tilapia have a growth rate of six months on average. Our tilapia have been in the system for about five months. So next month, we'll harvest them and sell the fillets to dining services. The main reason we've minimized the amount of tilapia in our system is because they're just not very profitable. You can get a fingerling for three to four dollars and you can sell them for about that same amount per pound when they're fully grown. Breeding eggs is a time consuming process that our team does not do. We purchased our tilapia fingerlings, which cost us nearly as much as we can sell them for. Our goal with tilapia is just to keep enough fish in the system to be able to sufficiently fertilize the plants that we are growing with their waste. So that sums up everything we have for you today regarding our system's fish produce and lettuce. Thanks for watching.